Once again, we're going to be going through my makeup collection. This is part two of what I have for my makeup and how I organize that and store it. I did do a declutter video and I did a part one. So this is part two. If you'd like to stop and go back and see those, if you haven't, I'll make sure that those are linked below so that you can see those. But this is part two and this is the other part of a huge cabinet tower that I have that I use to store my makeup. I hope that you do enjoy seeing it. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's get into how I organize, store, and keep my makeup all together right now. Okay, as I already said, this is part two. So we're going to go into my eye drawer that is not mostly eyeshadows. This is eyeliners and the liquid eyeshadows, um, that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go through these really quickly because we have so many to go through. And you guys thought I did a good declutter, but I really needed to because there was just no way I was gonna be able to keep everything. Let's just start. From Natasha Denona, this is her love palette, mini love palette. I love it, I think it's gorgeous excited to have it. This one from Natasha Denona is her mini retro palette. I have the big one, but this one is just so pretty. I guess I'm gonna have to put that drawer down so I can open these and show them to you. Kind of an army green in there uh, and then the neutral colors. Very pretty. This one I got very recently and showed in a favorites. This is from Cleo the Botanical Mauve. This is a gorgeous neutral palette. If you don't have any neutrals and you need neutrals, Go ahead and grab that. This is a very much a regret purchase. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, and I don't even know what this one is called. Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. I'm not crazy about this, but I keep it because I spent so stinking much money on it, and I would love to get a few more looks out of it before I declutter it, but this is one of my regrets. This one from her, this is the Exaggerate Eyes, and it's got just some very basic colors in there. I'm, I don't feel like these are colors that I don't have in other places, um, and honestly, I, I like it, but I don't feel like it's the best formula that I've ever put on my eyes. It's just eyeshadow makeup by mario on his website had these three in a trio that you could buy for just some phenomenal amount and i really do like them this one is i better put my glasses on so i can tell you guys what it is this one is glam quads bronzy glam so those are full of bronze colors this one is party glam that one has got some blues and some golds and silvers, very pretty. And then this one is rosy glam and just pretty and they're fun to work with, but there's a lot of shimmers in those. So I don't know, I like them, but you know, at the same time, I really don't like them. These are the two um, e.l.f. Bite size, bite size palettes that I have. This one is cream and sugar. And then this one is the rose water. I actually just ordered three new ones of these. Um, I think it was a KAU and I don't, the smoke, the smoky one. Anyway, I ordered them because I dropped some and a bunch of them shattered. So I had to replace those from Essence. This is what I have for the collection of those little mini palettes. My rose will go on. This is one of their brand new ones. This is so pretty. I don't even know if I've had a chance to do anything other than swatch this one, but it's got some beautiful colors in there, light colors. So beware of that if you're a deeper skin girl. This one is a really nice one from, that is called I Like to Mauve It, Mauve It. Beautiful, very cool tone colors in there. That is incredible. Dancing green. I love this one because it has different colors in there. You're not just getting like that bold, bright, like shamrock green. You're getting these gorgeous greens that are just, they're different. And then the Taupe It Up one is the last one. And it is just full of these grays and these beautiful muted, muted colors that so many can wear. It's just so pretty. And you know what I love about these is that they're not super pigmented. So you can build them up to be very pigmented or you can just stick with that light colors. And I really do like that. Now this one right here, this is full of my liquid eyeshadows or my pen eyeshadows. I just discovered this Wonder Cloud from Rimmel and I wore this yesterday and this is budge proof. I love this. It's not drying. Um, I love the color 
color because it's a matte color. It's just, it worked so good. It feels like a soft shadow going on. It doesn't feel super wet, so you don't have to wait to, for it to dry for a long time, but you can buff it out. It's so pretty. I do have all of these colors from um, Kosas. They were kind enough to send me these. And again, these, these are Kosas Skin Loving Ingredient um, eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, and it's called the 10 Second Eye. These are so saturated and so pretty, and these do not dry your eye out like so many do. And you can have some time to work with them, but these are phenomenal. This one, I don't remember what this one is called, and I can't even see it because my eyes are terrible. I think it's called Strobe, but it's a white one, and I do like it very much. It just gives just this gorgeous glow, and you could wear that over top of any one that you wanted to, any eyeshadow that you wanted to, and you get gorgeous look. I have so many sticks from Mally. I buy them off of QVC and they have these bundles and they are so good. When you put Mally's shadows on, you are going to have them on all day, all night until you take them off. They are that good. They are budge proof. From Kiko Milano, I love this color. This is a really good eyeshadow stick. Um, this is, what color is it? It just says 38. It's like it's a taupe chocolate color. No, this is a mauve kind of on the mauve side. This is gorgeous. I really do like Kiko's sticks. They're great. And then from the Sephora collection, I got two. Um, these are amazing as well. There is a soft thistle and then you have this silver one. And wow, the silver one is this bright, gorgeous reflect of silver. And then the soft thistle one is this pretty like lilac purple color. I will tell you that shadows like this, they tend to dry out quickly. So beware of that when you're buying them. They can be a little bit tricky. This one is from Laura Geller. She does a phenomenal um, formula as well. This is a really dark one. And that one I would use just in the outer corner just to kind of smudge out. If I was doing a full on smoky look, That's it's beautiful. I have one from Charlotte Tilbury that I keep only for purposes of comparison comparison this one is called amber haze i'm not even i don't even like that color but i do keep it because i want to compare the formula to other things i have this one from bare minerals this one i bought in it's called black and plum i bought this one in a set and this is the only one that i kept but those are so good too. None of these budge once you get them on. Oh man. These are the two that I kept from Laura Mercier. The one is Amethyst. Um, hopefully I can show you guys without running out of places. The Amethyst one is so pretty. It is like a duochrome. And then this one is Coco, which I love as well. These are so beautiful. They have, the Laura Mercier ones, they don't have a super amount of reflect in them, but they have just this gorgeous like light catching property to them so pretty from elf these are the ones i kept of theirs um this one is called what this one is called bronze metal and it's gorgeous love that color and then this one is called perfect perfected pearl this one is a gorgeous inner corner one or over the lid and then this blue one is called midnight sapphire and they're all so pretty they just, they're really pretty. Now I will say that e.l.f. doesn't last as long as everybody else's, but they last a good long time and you're gonna have some really beautiful looks. And then lastly, from Milani, I adore these. This is the Gilded Floral Shadows Sticks. I have the ones that I got before they brought these out just recently. These are the most budge-proof drugstore ones I have ever seen. They are so good. And this one right here that I'm about to swatch is a duo chrome topper that is incredibly pretty. And I these ones that are their gilded sticks are phenomenal. Those won't won't budge unless you use a waterproof remover like a balm or an oil base to take them off. They're not going to budge. All right, we put those back in. Now these are my liquid felt tip liners. I love having liners in colors for my top lash line. Um, I do have my regular black, like this is a sample from 
KVD Beauty, the tattoo liner. I have a couple others in black, the H2O from e.l.f. And I have one from Makeup by Mario from Profusion. This is probably the best one I have because of how teeny tiny that little point is that can make the littlest line across your top lashes. The other black one I have is from Flower Beauty. I showed that recently in a video. And also from Milk Makeup, I have that one. And this one's not supposed to be in here. I don't know why that's in there. This one is the Roller Lash from Benefit. This one is in their brown color. Another brown one I have is from Tarte. This is a dual-ended one. So you have the actual coal liner on one side and then you have the um, pen, the felt liner on the other side. And those are always so saturated. I love those. Um, I have a Charlotte Tilbury. Again, I don't like this color, but I keep it for purposes of duping because everything is supposed to be so wonderful. Charlotte Tilbury, but you know, guys, it is what it is for me. This is called the Classic Eye Powder Pencil. Um, and it's right there. Looks like a pretty color. Nothing to I don't know why it's not in the other things. Anyway, from Sephora Collection, this is their waterproof pen, and I love these. These are some of the best ones I've ever used. So pretty on that sapphire. LA Girl, teeny tiny fine line on that one. Wow, tiny fine line on that one. I love those. These are the drugstore um, ones that I I love and I can't take a lot of time or we're gonna be here forever. Flower Beauty Waterline Nude Pencil stays like crazy. The Color Stay from Revlon, 24 hour, beautiful in the waterline. Uh, this one from, this one is from Julep that I got off of Amazon. This is gorgeous in the waterline. And that one's a silver one. And you put that in the waterline and you're gonna have it there. I. I think that is gorgeous. And then this one is actually a L'Oreal Color Riche lip liner. I've been using it for a eyeliner because it's so saturated and it's too dark, but I love it. LA Girl, the Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. Love those, they stay on like crazy. I have a purple one and I have a teal one from Stila. Those stay on like crazy. There is this one from Bare Minerals. I do have several from Bare Minerals they sent me. These are a phenomenal formula and they have some of the prettiest colors. Let me just show you this one that is in aquamarine. This is, oh my gosh, you guys, look at how intense that is. They do have a tiny bit of glitter in them, but I love those. This one is also from LA Girl. This one is the Glide Gel Liner. This is a pretty, pretty different color than I've ever had. Almost like a, an electric periwinkle deepened blue. So pretty, love that one. Flower Beauty, this is just a cold liner. I think this is the only black one I have. That's that one from Flower Beauty. Infallible Pro Last from L'Oreal, so pretty. I actually just recently got this one. The tip is broke. I actually just recently got this one. I love how saturated that is. And then these ones I got from, I think these are the new ones that I got from Sephora. These are so good. Look at this olive green right there. That olive green, oh man, so pretty. And then I got a brown one of those and I also got a, I think this is a plum one. And then this one is also from LA Girl. This is their Shockwave. Just as pretty as all the others, very saturated. And then one of my very favorites ever is the Exhibitionist from CoverGirl in Emerald. And I just put that one in a video too. And then these ones right here, I'm not gonna take a lot of time because these are Urban Decays and I have a huge collection of these. So that is an Urban Decay. That one is a matte one. It's called Chaos, it's blue. Psychedelic Sister, a beautiful purple metallic. Vice, again, another beautiful purple metallic. Um, LSD, an incredibly gorgeous duochrome aquamarine blue green so pretty i have the one called bourbon that is kind of a this is kind of a i don't know a metallic um, brown light medium brown color and then i have electric empire from them and i have deep end from them them and i have this one from nyx this is one of their such a good new eye or not eyeshadow. Such a good new eyeliner. They're epic wear ones. This goes beautiful into your waterline. Look how pretty that is. And it brightens up that waterline. This one is called Periwinkle Pop. Gorgeous. And then I have these four from the 12 hour colorful collection from Sephora. 
These are beautiful. I will just real quickly um, swatch this one. And this one is called what color? Peacock blue. I am out of places. Peacock blue. So beautiful. I cannot believe I did all those so fast. This is the old formula of the wet and wild shadows that I won't get rid of. Knights. Um, this one is the Knights quad. This one is sweet as candy. This one is Asta La Costa baby. And this one is Petalette. They dropped the ball on the new Petalette. Just so you know. All right, we're done with those. These are my powders. I have shown so many of these to you before. I'm not going to show you what's up in here. It is an eyelash curler from Shiseido and my two powder puffs, my powder puff and my beauty sponge that I'm using right now from Dior. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. I have them in one N and two N. And to tell you the honest truth, there's no difference in the two. Just so you know, love them. I think they're great. The Tatcha, the Silk Powder, I'm not super happy with this one. I have a little trial size. The only reason I keep this is for dupable. Again, this one is a little bit too drying. Not crazy about that. Fenty Beauty, this is her um, powder, loose powder in lavender. And I do love this. I can't say that I don't like that one because I love that one. And I also have a Can Make Powder that is in lavender that I I absolutely adore. This one is just a little bit of a glow, whereas the Fenty has no glow in it. And then also the just the basic can make powder. Um, this one doesn't have a color on it, but I just think it's such a good powder. I love these powders. They are so creamy and so buttery. I really love them. From By Terry, this is their quad that is the Hyaluron, Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I love having this. This is a creamy powder. I'm going to be buying a big one and I probably will buy it in this color over here, but I really do like this. From Jaclyn Hill, this is her, what is this one called? Brightening and Setting Palette from Jaclyn Hill. And there's a peach almond, a light banana, and a cream in here. I probably wouldn't purchase this one again, although I like it and I'm going to use it up because it was so expensive. But yeah, I probably wouldn't purchase that one again. Same thing with the Hourglass Mineral Veil, or not Veil, Mineral Veil, Veil Mineral Powder. I do like this. This is the translucent one, but I probably won't purchase this one again because I think feel like it's way too high priced and you can get some wonderful ones at the drugstore and other places, such as the Sydney Grace one. This is her Cloud 9 setting powder. I think that this one is absolutely a dupe for the Hourglass. And I'm here to tell you that I think this one costs like $14 or $16. This one is around $50 and the ingredients are the same. I love Sydney Grace's powders for that because it's amazing. The Elf Halo Glow setting powder. Mine is in lighted pink. I do like this. However, I don't I don't really reach for too many loose powders, but for the drugstore, that one is a really good one. And then I have the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh, which I think this one hit it out of the park. This is a phenomenal powder. I love this powder. It is so light, so airy. You guys, I am a painted mess on these hands right here. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This one is only in here for dupable purposes. See a theme with the Charlotte Tilbury? I'm losing my voice. Let me get a drink. I'm not that impressed with her stuff. I think it's okay, but I'm not that impressed. Same thing with Huda Beauty. This is the Pound Cake um, Baby Baked Loose Baking and Setting Powder. It doesn't really act too much like a, a baking powder, like super dry or anything. But it, you know, it is what it is. It's a loose powder. It's good. But everybody was talking about it. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to get a little one to see. Sure enough, it wasn't my favorite. The Givenchy, my husband bought this for me. This is the Prism Libre. I don't think this one is sold anymore. It's the Voila 8. And it has four different colors in the chambers here. I love this powder. There is a tiny bit of micro glitter in it. I mean, I mean, not pinpoints. We're talking micro. And I love the powder. I use it like crazy, but I'm not sure that I would pick that one up again. Now, this one, which is the Lancome Absolute Powder, this one I would pick up again, and it does have those micro fine pinpoints in it. This one is absolute golden, and I love this powder. It is incredibly beautiful. Jaclyn Hill talked about this years ago, and it's a powder that I've had ever since. I mean, she talked about this probably five, six years ago, and I've had it ever since. It's back when I very, very first started my channel. Hourglass has this one that is the Lighting Infinity Powder. 
this is a cross between their regular powders, their lighting edit, editing powders, and their highlighters. And I really like that one. I think it's beautiful. I think it's one that people kind of were overlooking. The Prep, Set, and Glow from Milani. This is out of stock right now. But boy, howdy, if you have been wanting to try any of those um, hourglass powders, this is a dupe for them. This one will set your under eyes and make them look gorgeous. Rare Beauty, this is a new one that I just got. This is her, the Radiance Setting Powder, and this one is in light. Although I do like this one, I don't feel like it's the best one for me and my mature eyes. And again, I'll use it up because it's here and I paid a lot for it. Um... Fenty Beauty's foundation powder. I do like this one very much and I don't have my Mac in here I swore I was going to bring my Mac in the Mac studio fix Foundation powder is so much better than this Fenty Beauty one, but this is like a close second. It's nice It's buttery. It goes across your skin. It doesn't feel super cakey and powdery So I do like that one, but the Mac is my number one now flower beauty has their light illusion perfecting powder mine is in porcelain the lightest color that you can get, and I adore this powder. I feel like this powder is every bit as beautiful as that Fenty. I love it for a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. It is incredibly gorgeous. I just barely picked this one up from Wet n Wild, the Bare Focus. Um, this is the clarifying finishing powder that ha it says it has vegan collagen, tea tree, and vitamin E in this. I don't know where I've been that I haven't seen this before. This one is the Fair Light one. This is a beautiful powder. I really have been liking it. It's one of those powders that I was pleasantly surprised because it's like four or five dollars. These are my Becca powders, the um, lighting sh light shifter finishing veil that you can't get anymore. We won't talk about those because I'm really sad. And then the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. Mine is in nine flax. I love this one. Um, I use it quite often to set on areas of my face that need a little bit extra cover. Beautiful. This is the original Mineral Veil. Beautiful as well. This is the Laura Geller. This is her Balance and Brighten. I love using this one to set areas that need a little bit of extra cover. Color coverage, but they also need to have a little bit of light. This is beautiful. I really wish that I had gotten that one in fair. And then Kosas sent me um, one of their Cloud Set and I think they sent me their darker one and I bought the lighter one. So here's the darker one and it is in feathery and then the lighter one is in breezy. This does have a tendency to get a little bit of a film over it, but you can run a spoolie across any of your powders to get a film on it and it comes right off and you've got a brand new powder in there. This is an incredibly beautiful powder for a mature woman. You can set anything with these and get away with it. Number seven, Lift and Luminate, my all-time favorite drugstore powder. This one and the Flower Beauty, these are the two best powders at the drugstore I have ever, ever used. I don't know. I'm in love with this new one from ColourPop, the pretty fresh one. But this one from Flower Beauty, it's so different. It's super light and super airy, but it has this light catching property to it. I adore this powder. And then lastly is my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. Hit pan on it, ready for it to be, you know, get a new one and, you know, use this one up. I love this one. So these powders, I all like. They wouldn't be in this drawer if I didn't like them that much. This one. Oh my gosh, you guys, my blush drawer. I have a blush problem. Just so you know, I have a major blush problem. KVD, this is her Rosebud Blush. Matte Blush, beautiful mauve tone. There are several different um, baked blush and brightens from Laura Geller. Sunlit, bright pink. This one is uh, but Pink Buttercream, probably my favorite. And then there is a Sunlit Rose, gorgeous, brighter pink as well. And then I have a Berry Trifle. These are all gorgeous, used them like crazy. Some of my very favorite drugstore ones from e.l.f. This one is Always Rosy, Primer Infused Blush, Rimmel Maxi Blush. This one is Third Base gorgeous. This one is from ColourPop. This one is Love Me. Beautiful. Little bit of a sheen to that one. This one is from L'Oreal Age Perfect. This one is Mauved. So pretty. Then this one is the True Match Super Blendable. This one is 
C56 Rosy Outlook. I love that one for spring. So pretty. From Moira, these are some of the most beautiful blushes ever. Bella Pink, these are matte blushes with an ombre effect to them and soft berry. I would love to have more of these in my collection. Charlotte Tilbury, I don't like this color. Keep it to be able to compare it to other things. Cheek to Chic uh, Ecstasy is the name of that. It's supposed to have a different color in the middle. Can't really tell. From Milani, this one is the Tea Rose color. Um, they're, let's see, Rose Powder Blushes is all that's called. Love it. Physician's Formula, brand new one to me. This this is the Butter Blush in Mauvey Mauves. Mauvey Mats, sorry. Love that one too. I have a couple of stick blushes. This is from Kiko Milano. This one is, I think this is just a rose color too. These are hard to see because I'm running out of places. This one is from Jouer and it's called Uplift. And I have no places left at all. We'll go up the arm here, Uplift um, on that. So you get a, a darker rose colored one and then a lighter peachy pink one. So those are beautiful. I really like those. And then from Nabla, these are their bright, beautiful blushes that are super glowing. You can use them as cheek toppers. That one is Truth. And this one is Independence, or you can just use them as blushes, whichever you like. Kosas has these du duo ones that are their creams. Eighth Muse, love to death. And then this one is called Velvet Melon. This one's actually not the cream one. This is the powder one. So love those. This one is from Sephora. This is a blush and two highlighters. And this one is called Trio Face Palette in Gleam. And there are those colors. Gorgeous highlighter. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous highlighter. Patrick Ta. Oh, love these blushes. She's that girl. Got a matte i'm sorry you've got a powder and a cream up there she's that girl this one is oh she's different a little bit darker these just work so well together one of the my very favorite formulas ever cover fx this one is the mojave mauve and you've got a topper which is very shimmery and then the regular matte blush okay let me put some of these back Whew. My goodness, is there any of you guys getting tired? I'm getting tired. These are cream blushes from Fenty. I love this formula. It stays on forever. This one is called um, Drama Class Purple. I have a video on that. Believe it or not, it works beautiful on everyone. This is Petal Poppin, kind of a peachy pink. This one is Summertime Wine, a very deepened, beautiful rose. And then the last one is Cool Berry. I love these cream blushes. They're so good. My favorite formula of all time for cream blush is the ColourPop Super, 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 Super Shock Shadows. This one is in Birthday Suit. And I love this formula. If you haven't tried these, please try some ColourPop. Prenup. Gorgeous, love these, they're incredibly beautiful. And then the last one is Between the Sheets, and this is probably my favorite one that they have ever made. It just goes with so many looks. Let me see if I can swatch that for you. Very moussey formula, very creamy, very buttery, dries down to a powder, and as I'm buffing it out there through the hair on my arms, it just uh, caught up a little bit in there. <laughs> so love that. And then I have two Buxom blushes that I adore. This one is Dolly Dreamer. Nope, this one's Wanderlust. And then this one is in Dolly. Love these both. I think they're both pretty. Primer infused blushes. Whoops. Primer infused blushes. Bare Minerals. This is their Bounce and Blur. This is their cream blush. So beautiful. And then I got all of these at the holidays from Tarte. This one is Exposed. So pretty. These are gorgeous. Charmed. Very bright pink. I haven't even dipped into some of these. Just swatched them. This one is Party. Party. And then this one is Delight. So beautiful. And then I have one for, from Persona that they actually sent me. So pretty. These are beautiful blushes. That one's called Caramel. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got a little bit of a reflect in it. Then Makeup by Mario. These are two that are really pretty. Mellow Mauve. Love that color. Just think it's so pretty. And then this one is Poppy Pink. And no, I don't need all of these. 
Yes, so many of them are the same color, but yes, again, this is my job and I love it. All right, from Palladio, I found this blush on Amazon. It's beautiful, it has a gorgeous reflect, but I can only use it as a lip, as a topper. And this one, it's called Wish. My favorite, favorite formula from OG way back, Heather Pop from Clinique Blush Pops love these this one is called pink pop that is a special edition one they did but it's still pink and then this is pansy pop that i have these are so well loved this is another bare minerals one they're gen nude ones this is called my blush um beautiful soft flush of pink this one is from mac this i believe is their mineral one and i can't remember what this one's called oh wait a minute it's breath of plum beautiful and then mocha i have another one of those those are so pretty and then mac has these bouncy formulas this is called glow play blush and these are incredible i love these and i make sure that i keep the top on them because i want to keep them for a long time this one is called rosie does it beautiful kind of plummy color this one is called blush please and this one is just a very neutral color. And then this one is called Grand. I love all of these. Oh, the, lost the top on that one. I love all of these. The colors are phenomenal. They're beautiful. My doggies just decided to join us. So from Milani, I have these baked blushes. This one is Dolce Pink. This is my favorite color that they have. Such a beautiful color. This one is Petal Primavera beautiful soft color neutral color and then this one is one i use as a highlight but it is considered their blush this is rosa romantica so pretty love these so much okay i knew that blush drawer was going to be so hard to get through so let's go for highlighters now from flower beauty probably one of my very favorites at the drugstore this is their highlighting palette so pretty this is a dior one that i got a couple of years ago beautiful but it does have some glitter in it what is this one called this one is called rose gold um, it's beautiful but it does have a little bit of glitter in it laura mercier this one is called her matte radiance baked powder um, this is a highlighter again i love this i think it's beautiful it's a very soft highlighter it's not a beaming one from physicians formula rose all day this is technically called a setting powder but it doesn't act like that now when i talked about the milani being gone um, that it was out of stock this is a very close second so this is the rose all day set and glow and i love that one it's in the color it's in the color brightening rose so you know that sungasm from catrice face and body highlighter who could ever get through anything like that right this one is um oh what is this color i don't even know what color this is but maybe it just comes in one color but that is a huge pan that i don't think you could ever get through this is a nabla um this is one of their highlighters a skin glazing this one is in ozone i love it love it love it from Ofra, I love this one too. This is the Samantha March highlighter. I love it. Um, I It's so beaming. It's so pretty. I just, I don't reach for that one very much. I should more. Bobbi Brown, this is their highlighting powder in pink glow. This is one of my very favorite. It is the most beautiful brick and I love that glow. Makeup by Mario, this one is pretty. It's opal, but it's very, very light colored. So I have to be a little bit careful with that. It's gorgeous on the eyelids. Fenty Beauty has their kilowatt highlighters. This one is the girl next door and cheek freak or chic freak. And it's so pretty. And then this one is lightning dust and crystal. Crystal Fire. Love this one as well. Very champagne-y, light, light champagne-y color. This one is from MAC. This is one of their Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And I don't know what color this is. It might be Double Gleam. But this is a beautiful one. Oh my goodness. Those are so pretty. You can't get these anymore from Becca, but I'm not getting rid of them. This one is the Amethyst one. Prismatic Amethyst. I adore that. And then this one you haven't been able to get for a long time and it's called Pure Pearl. And it is, it's so different than anything from Beckett that she ever had. Mel Thompson turned me on to that one. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. We all know about that. The most beautiful soft wash of color for an older woman. So pretty. This one is a Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in Spotlight, I think. 
I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, it's okay. But I'll tell you what, the Born to Glow is just as pretty. The Liquid Illuminator from NYX, it's just as pretty. And then from Sai, I don't know how to say that. I'm so bad. This is one of their highlighters that's a soft highlighter as well. Really pretty. Um, I really do like that one. You guys call out if there's anything here that you guys really like. I should have washed my hand, but I didn't. Okay, this is from Rare Beauty. This is her Illuminator. This one is in Enchant. And these, you guys, I love these. I think they're so pretty. I'm just layering on top of layers here. Um, anyway, that one's a beautiful one. Tarte had a little one that was a highlighter in that set. Fantasy, beautiful duo chrome highlighter. I love it. Tarte has a new one that just came out. This is the Glow Powder in Starlet from, and it's the Shape Tape. And it is a lot like that highlighter from Essence. It's very, very much like it. This one is a very beautiful beam from Catrice More Than a Glow. This one is Supreme Rose Beam. I will swatch that one for you because I think that one is so, so pretty. Just gorgeous. From Koki Cosmetics, this is their cream highlighter. This was a, the rose one as well. This one is so pretty too. From MAC, this came in a set as well. This is their Dilly Dolly Extra Dimension Blush. These are so bright, but I loved that color. It's a really pretty bright, bright pink. And then I have held on to this blush. Um, not a blush. This is a light chaser highlighter from Becca. And this one I, I really love. I've held on to it for a long time. This one is the Rose Quartz Flashes Opal. This is a highlighter from Sydney Grace. Yay! This is so beautiful, you guys. Their loose highlighters are amazing. The highlighters from the Super Shock Collection at ColourPop. Yes, I'm in love. Yes, they're all amazing. Yes, Flexitarian is probably the prettiest one they've ever made. And it's this gold, gorgeous ah it's so pretty um again cream to powder formula this is one uh sandcastle kilowatt foil from fenty beauty again super beaming i love wearing that one on my eyes from becca some more that i didn't want to get rid of there is the rose quartz and the vanilla quartz just these are just so good and i just really don't want to get rid of them so that's that i'm gonna keep those from elf this is their white gold this is their beautiful highlighter. I love using that one. Master Chrome from Maybelline. This one is the white gold as well, I believe. Um, number 250. I'm not exactly sure. It's been such a long time. But that one is beautiful. And then there is a new one that I found. A highlighter from Rimmel, which I think is absolutely gorgeous as well. That one is in Stardust. And I've been using this Kosas. This is the bronzer, but this is light bronze or light soft bronze. And I've been using that as a highlighter because it is, oh my gosh, it's so pretty as a highlighter, but I can't wear it because it's too orange as a bronzer. But Skin Lights from Revlon. This one is, oh, what color is this one? This one is Daybreak Glimmer. So pretty. I love these highlighters from the drugstore. They're every bit as good as high end. Laura Geller Ethereal Rose Highlighter. Actually, that's supposed to be a blush, but Ethereal Rose is very, very light. Uh, French Kiss and Vanilla Kiss Duo Highlighter. So pretty. And then this one is French Poodle and French Almond. These are special, special blush, or not blushes, highlighters. I love these so much. All right, keep moving. This is bronzers. Let's go through the bronzers. L'Oreal True Matte Lumi Bronze It. I've had this forever. I've hit pan on it. It's broken. I just did it with a band, uh, rubber band to be able to keep it. Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. No, I don't think that this one is the best one either. And it shattered on me really quickly, so I pressed it back in there. Um, the Contour Duo Palette, this is for light skin from Essence. This is fabulous. I have hit pan on it. I use it all the time. Every bit as good as the Charlotte Tilbury. I just think it's one of those really great ones. Milani Silky Matte uh, Bronzer, and this one is in Sunkissed. This is phenomenal as well. Reach for it all the time. This is the Cream 
contour in amber from Fenty Beauty and I apologize that everything looks like it's got fingerprints all over it because it does This is my second one of these and it takes a long time to go through that cream But that is a phenomenal contour another phenomenal contour from Sephora the Sephora collection colors in second chance Look at that muddy color perfect for contour. I'm here to tell you bronzer and actually you can use this as a bronzer uh, contour con uh, combo and this is from iconic beauty and the precision duo in medium shadow there is your powder and then underneath your powder if i can get to it is your cream and both of them are so pretty and both of them work really well as contours another one that works great as a contour is from danessa myricks and this is her contour this is in light one and again this is a cream product and muddy and you can use it as a bronzer as well love it from jacqueline hill i don't like this hardly at all but again i spent too much money on it it's one of her bronzer and um, blush duos, but I'm not that impressed with it. This one from Rare Beauty, I do like this very much. I love the formula. I just wish the color wasn't quite so orange. This is one that will blend out really easy. You can use it as your bronzer, but be very careful if you're somebody that's cool. Um, that one is in the color Happy Soul or Happy Soleil, maybe. This is from Makeup by Mario. This is the dark one. Uh, believe it or not, I chose the dark one because I thought that it looked so much more cool than all the rest of them. And it really quite does look a bit more cool than the other ones do, but still, it's pretty... I can tell you it's pretty bronzy. So it's nice um, for a bronzer. This one is called uh, Revenge, Soft Revenge from Nabla. This is one of my very favorites as far as a contour bronzer duo. Works so well. Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. This is light enough and cool enough that it definitely works as a contour bronze duo. So pretty. Coconut Beach from ColourPop. This one goes in and out of stock all the time. This is more of a bronzer for me. I do love it. And then I got in Fair the Balance and Bright from Laura Geller for bronze. And I love this because it has swirls of pink in there. And pink looks so good when you need a bronzer that isn't super orange. I love it. I've kept this one forever from Marc Jacobs, their Omega Bronzer. This is a good one for bronzer too because it has that um, look of not being too orange. And I will probably have that forever. <laughs> it's been around for a long time. And then these are my cream ones. Um, this one is from U Uoma. This one has a highlighter on one end and then a bronzer on the other end, but it's a contour color, which I really like. That color is, what color is it? It is white pearl. I do like that one from um, charlotte tilbury this is her contour wand this is fair medium i do love that one from elf this is the only one of their putty bronzers that i have found that i like all the rest of them are much too orange this is called feeling shady i do like that color and then from kiko milano again we have another bronzer stick this one i think is called chocolate i did i say that already on another one and it was supposed to be a rose one probably i really like this but again Again, when you get this on you have to be careful because it can be bronzer contour ish um, so you're warming up your face not just not just contouring and this is the contour stick from Catrice that I don't even think you can get anymore this is called warm bronze and it is pretty warm but I do like it as a bronzer um, quite pretty 